All right, let's try this again. Uh, I don't know what just happened, but basically we just went dead. Um, anyway, happy Friday. I just wanted to get on really quickly and confess that I am a procrastinator. And as a procrastinator, I feel like I'm qualified to speak on how you can prevent becoming one. <laughs> All right, so um, I was saying that uh, most recently I had been watching a uh, a video video of an inspirational speaker who was saying that he honestly did not believe in the term or the concept of procrastination because what he was saying was that you know it's not actually procrastination it's just that you're prioritizing you know to not do something because you don't feel driven by that thing so what I mean by that is, for example, if I were to tell you that if you met me at 6 a.m. in the morning, I would give you $3 million, you better believe that you'd be there, you know, early. You would not even get there at 6 a.m. You'd get there well before that because you are incentivized or you're motivated to actually, you know, um, make the appointment because it's of interest and it's something that is driving you. So when we think about the things that we procrastinate on, it's usually something that we don't really desire to do or we're not feeling motivated to do. And so, you know, another book, um, another resource that I looked at um, is a book called Eat That Frog. And in that book, it says, when you make your list of the things that you need to do, um, so you can have this be something where it's a daily list, a weekly list, a monthly list, and you can even have a more long-term type of list. Um, so number one tip is make a list, okay? So for not procrastinating. And um, on that list, you want to have all the things that you need to have done, like all the things that you need to do. And, you know, have the things that are the most difficult for you, the things that you are not motivated to do, and do those things first. And that is eating the proverbial frog, right? So um, that's one, one tip. So make a list, do the most difficult thing first right and then that will um, get that out the way and then hopefully you'll be able to get to those other things that you desire to do uh, that much faster the second thing is um, have give yourself a deadline and make it be before the actual deadline that whatever that item is is due and that often what often happens with that is that you will actually forget when a thing is actually due and you will be working with that particular deadline and that will help you to get things done way before they're actually due and you'll feel a sense of accomplishment you'll feel um you'll just feel a whole lot better you're not going to feel stressed and you know um feeling really bad about me you know getting things in the very last minute and then everything falls apart if you know and if, if life gets in the way like I don't know you get a flat tire and you have to get that you have to deal with that and then now you don't have those two hours to deal with the thing that you're supposed to be doing well ahead of time all right and then the the last thing is um the third tip is um accept imperfection and what I mean by that is you know a lot of us have a little bit of OCD and obsessive compulsive disorder is what I'm referring to when I say OCD in us and you know varying degrees of course we are all along the spectrum in some way and a lot of times we feel like we cannot put something through we cannot do something or accept something unless it's perfect but that makes no sense why because we are fallible beings we're not perfect and so we can't expect that what we produce is gonna be perfect what we need to realize and embrace is more of, you know, when we put our best effort forward, whatever product comes out of our best effort is indeed our perfection, right? Because I mean, that's basically the best you can give is the best you can give, right? So accept imperfection, and then you will not be... Um, how can I say you won't be obsessed with you know trying to make a product and then getting frustrated because you've now waited to the very last minute and it's just a compound effect that spirals and you get stressed out and all these things occur hey thanks for joining uh, so basically the three tips are the first one was make a list and then do the toughest things first which is eating the frog the second thing was um, 
giving yourself uh, deadlines well ahead of the actual deadline. And then the third one was accepting your imperfections because we are imperfect beings. So I'm hoping that these three tips will be helpful to you as far as um, battling procrastination like I have a problem with and just realizing that it's really your motivation. So, you know, making things priority is really what's going to help you to not procrastinate because you're going to get those things done. All right. So I hope that you have an amazing Friday and an amazing weekend. And remember to be strong, be brave and unleash your greatness.